The question is, how do I edit an existing experience entry on my LinkedIn profile? I'm going to show you those steps right here. So go to your LinkedIn profile. That is step one. Make sure you're logged in LinkedIn. By the way, you can do this on the mobile app, but I really recommend you do it on desktop. It's way easier, way better keyboard control than on, on an iPhone or an Android. Scroll down to your experience section. Now you got to hit the top pencil right here, which lets you edit the entire experience section. Start there. Boom. And scroll down to the position you want to ed edit. You know, find that position and hit the pencil next to that position. Hit edit. Now I have full access to this entire experience entry to change it in any way I want. I can change the title. I can change the employment type. I come down here and I can say, you know, it's, you know, part-time or self-employed. By the way, I'm a big fan of not using self-employed. Maybe freelance and the rest of these but I don't like self-employed, especially if you're doing a full-time job. You know, it's a full-time business. You're full-time. You don't have to select anything. Now, you got to have the name there, so make sure you have the name. And by the way, when you're typing the name in, look and see when you're typing this in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As you're typing in the name, S-C-O-R-E, and then I can type, keep typing uh, mentors. And then select from the list. Because that way you get connected to the company page. If you just type in score mentors and you hit return, now in this case it's going to connect me to the company page, but score mentors NC and lets me connect to the actual company page. And then you, you can put a location. Only time you have to have to put is if you see that little asterisk. If you see the little asterisk, you're, it's a required field. I don't have to have a location. I don't have to have a location type. Now you're editing it. Are you still working there? Yes or no? If you say you're not working there, you have to have an end month or at least an end year. You don't have to have a month. And I can put that back on. I don't have to have a month. Look, I can go back to month and leave it blank, but I have to have a year. Then I can end the roles that I want to end if I want to. I can select the industry if I want to select the industry or leave it with what it is. Now here's a description. You get 2,000 characters in the description. You want to really tell the viewer what you do there that's relevant to your most important viewer, relevant to your target audience, not relevant to your boss. You've already got the job. Tell the viewer what you do relevant to the person or individuals or industry or companies that you serve. That's critical. Uh, you can update your headline if you want to. You can add skills if you want to. You can add rich media if you want to. This is updating. There it is. You can turn on notify, but it's only going to notify if you add a new job, not when you update. So I leave that off. And then once I'm done updating it or editing it, I, if I want to, I could have deleted it. Uh, but when I'm done, I hit save. And then it updates it in here. And then if I want to, I can go update other ones. Or if I'm done, I can just click on my profile and go back to my entire LinkedIn profile. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope this is helpful for you.